Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Chris River Church of God. I'm so glad that you have an opportunity to take a couple minutes and just do a little bit of devotion during these 21 days of fasting. It's been a little while, the hunger pains, the, the loss, the stuff you're missing out on. I understand that that can be grating and wear you out sometimes, but the beauty of it is, is that we're doing all this to get closer to our Lord. And the closer we are to God, the better off we're going to be, and I'm sure of that. So today's scripture that we're going to be reading from today comes from Matthew chapter 5, 5 verse 14 and 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 and 16 is a place where Jesus is talking to a lot of his disciples. And he says to them that you are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So I know that I heard this song in Sunday school. Maybe you did too. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. That song was a fun little song that we could repeat. But that song also had a lot of truth. And when it's put into action, if we actually live out that song, This Little Light of Mine, then you'll begin to see the people around you and even your life start to change. So the verses kind of go, uh, you know, they're simple and they're short, but it's This Little Light of Mine, I'm going to let it shine. And it says, hide it under a bushel? No, I'm going to let it shine. And it says, don't let Satan blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. And so when, when God is saying to us, when Jesus said, let your light shine before others, he's saying, yeah, you might be saved. You might be following me. You might be, you know, avoiding the right things and doing all these right things. But he's saying, you need to let your faith be expressed. Because if your faith is not being expressed, then other people are not seeing the light of Christ the way that they need to. See, when Jesus was here on earth, he was the light and people were following him. But then he sent his Holy Spirit in the days of the early church. And that was something that was supposed to be empowering people to become witnesses to all the ends of the earth. And so you and I, when we say, you know, Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior, I follow you and we become a Christian, then by default, our light should begin to shine. We need to express that faith so that other people can be impacted by it. Imagine being in a, a scary situation or a difficult situation where all the lights are out, it's dark, and you're the only one that has a light, and you chose not to shine that light. What would happen? Everyone would be left wandering around in the dark, struggling to find their way, and left in, in confusion and pain and difficulty because you chose not to share your light. And so Jesus is saying to us that we should be sharing our light. When we go to the grocery store, do people realize that we're saved? Do people acknowledge that we are followers of Christ? When's the last time somebody asked you why you smile all the time? The scripture also says that we should be ready to give an answer for the hope that we have within us. So is your hope so evident that people are approaching you and saying, Man, what do you have that I don't have? Is your light shining? If your light shining, hopefully people are asking you that question. Be ready to give an answer for the faith and the hope that you have. So today and the rest of this week, the rest of this fast, you know, forget the rest of the year. Do your best to express your faith to other people. Shine your light in the best way you can. And I believe that Jesus will honor that and you'll begin to see fruits of that labor. God bless you. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Let that light shine, yeah, let it shine. Bye.